welcome to our channel amplicons of biotech this presentation is about speed breeding it's being held cheered as the new green revolution not sure about media but it has already taken science by storm some of you might know about it but most of the students are still unaware now let's see what exactly is speed breeding it is a new innovation inspired by NASA's experiments to grow wheat in space. We can relate this with an example of a movie. I don't know how many of you have seen this movie called The Martian. In this movie, they have shown that a NASA's team member is left behind on the planet Mars by mistake. Everyone thinks he must be dead in the storm, but somehow he manages to survive. He builds an artificial chamber with some lights and water and grows potatoes with some help of his supplies and some potato slices and survives for more than 100 days on Mars till he is rescued by his team. And uh, same thing is shown in the web series Lost in Space. Uh, it's not exactly the same but uh, the technique, the innovation of cultivating crops in space uh, it is shown in that web series and just like it speed breeding is an indoor plant growing technique in this image we can see here are some lights and uh, he is preparing the soil for uh, cultivation of potatoes and in this another image we can see him in his space suit dealing with the crops this innovation has been have been developed by Australian scientists from the University of Queensland and University of Sydney. Speed breeding uses an artificial environment just like a greenhouse but with enhanced light duration to create longer daylight systems which speeds up the breeding cycles. Now let's see why we need it and to what extent is it true what is said about the new green revolution. Why speed building? Why we need it? It doesn't seem necessary to enlighten any of you about population crisis. The day by day increasing number of population explains, ex explains its all. And considering these numbers, it is estimated that farmers will have to produce 60 to 80 percent more food by the year 2050. But the biggest challenge to increase food production and breeding high yielding crops is the inability to complete more generations that is crop cycles in less time but there's no need to worry about the challenge as we have got the solution as speed building has the potential to deal with it what speed building exactly does is it shortens the cycle speed building shortens the crop cycle that is generation time and accelerates breeding here we can achieve six generations per year of a crop instead of two to three under normal greenhouse conditions see the difference it is just twice than normal in this image we can see on the left hand side it is a representative image showing the speed building where light duration is enhanced resulting in six generations of a particular crop on the right hand side it is a normal greenhouse control or glass house control condition where only two to three generations can be achieved and the question arises how is it possible let's see generally indoor farms grow plants under 10 to 12 hours of light per day but speed building exposes plants up to 22 hours of optimal lights per day that is 10 hours more than the normal sunlight normal light period it makes plants work over time by not allowing them to sleep what's remarkable here is that this overworking doesn't seem to affect their performance most of the plants carry out photosynthesis as we all know a process where they make their own food we can see the difference in this image uh, on the right hand side 
the image the picture shows the normal breeding on uh, the cycle of the crop that is the growth of the crop on day 42 and uh, on the left hand side we can see on the day 42 under speed breeding condition under enhanced light condition we can see the growth of crop we can relate both the images and consider the difference in other words speed breeding plants produce more food through increased photosynthesis which makes them grow faster more light more food simple growing plants under continuous light causes internal injury to some sensitive species but only to those species which are photosensitive but plants like wheat barley pea and lettuce grow without any damaging effects under constant light other important crops like rice corn and sunflower could also be produced using a modified speed breeding technique to accelerate their growth by modifying their according to the crop according to the condition we can do some changes in the lightning system and we can grow such important crops so this is how speed breeding could prove helpful to boost agriculture and all we have to do is to find out ways for its application thanks for watching this video for more for more videos like this please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and please comment down in the comment section if you think it was helpful thank you